doing a little tutorial here. Before we try any kind of orbiting or moon landing, this place is crazy. And the sun is coming up on this wonderful day here. Uh, I've actually done a lot of the uh, tutorial missions and I've learned a heck of a lot in terms of um, orbiting and moon stuff. I'm not going to get into details, but hopefully I can use some of that stuff I've learned to go ahead and build some awesome rockets and do some crazy, crazy missions and explorations. So, oh, I don't want to upgrade this. Hang on. Okay, so let's go ahead and spend some science points here that we got from the last time. Uh, let's see, so we have pretty much all the basics. Uh, basic engines, we got some, uh, we got some nice coasting engines here, this liquid fuel engine's pretty decent, uh, for like, for like end stage kind of stuff. Now, what else would we want? Oh, rechargeable battery pack. Not really, uh, too in the, in the need for, uh, more power as of right now. What about flight control? Winglet, uh, let's see, another cockpit. Let's see, wing connector. Not really sure about that stuff. Probably could go for uh, maybe, maybe uh, you know, st launch stability enhancer, maybe. I mean, we don't really need that either. Don't really need anything. Maybe maybe more power. Let's say advanced rocketry. Um, oh, another engine and a bigger fuel tank. Oh, I like this. All right, let's go this route. Let's put 45 points into this uh, just in case we're going to need uh, a bigger fuel tank to go ahead and do crazier things because we were using two fuel tanks last time, two of the few uh, smaller ones. Might as well get a big one on there. And more engines and more cool stuff unlocked later on. Okay, so we're done here for now. Uh, that was a nice little bonus. Now let's go ahead and check out the missions. See what we have around here. So it's time to get some prestige and a ton of cash. We're going to go ahead and orbit Kerbin today. I'm so excited, guys. This is going to be great. Uh, hopefully I can put what I learned in the uh, tutorials to use. I spent like hours and hours on them. All right, so <laughs> let's see here. Uh, orbit Kerbin. We will accept this one. Uh, let's see, it says it must be, you must be higher than 70,000 meters to accomplish this. Uh, sure, okay, we could do that. Um, why not? <laughs> Alright, so a three star one. This guy is super happy here. And then, uh, let's also test out this, uh, liquid fuel engine right here, the LTT-45. Uh, tons of cash from that, and tons of, uh, of, uh, star points there, tons of prestige and science. And, uh, this needs to be accomplished between, uh, yeah, like 86,000. 96,000 uh, meters above the planet orbiting around So that's definitely something we're gonna shoot for we're gonna shoot for about like yeah, like 90,000 orbit and get all the stuff done All right, uh-huh indeed and time to build the latest model of crazy face industries brand model uh, rocket ships uh, <laughs> So here we go start off with the top and I think um, obviously uh, definitely gonna go with the big old fuel tank just so uh, in case we make mistakes we have lots of, uh, lots of correction here. We can go ahead and, and spend a ton of fuel. Hopefully we're not going to be too heavy, but we got money to spend to make this thing epic. I plan on not losing this part. I don't want to detach that. So we'll keep that together like that. Uh, and then we'll get this, uh, yes, this LT-45 uh, engine on here. The one that we're going to get paid to use. So, uh, yeah, whoever throws money at us will be like, oh, yeah, we'll use, we'll use that thing. Uh, LT, LVT-45. Yeah, that's the one, right? LT, LVT4, yeah, 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 okay, so we got that there, uh, awesome, alright, alright, already, uh, cash in the bank, and now, uh, let's see, structural, okay, so this is definitely gonna be the end part, let's get some winglets on here as well, let's get them, uh, four ways like last time, that was pretty cute looking, I like the whole missile look of things, actually, let's line this up, uh, a little bit like this, so if we jump out, or if we have a ladder, Maybe in a future design, we can uh, we can use that ladder. Is that, does that look right? That looks good, so we can have a ladder going down like that if we want to. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Uh, what else now? Um, obviously, a parachute. <laughs> Gotta have one of those up there. Probably four of these as well here. Uh, just in case. We'll put them like that. Maybe like that. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty. That looks very pretty. I like it. Oh, boy. I'm so excited. And I just added a little calm relay there, and I'm figuring some mystery goo as well, might as well, just in case uh, we discover anything interesting, uh, or, uh, of interest out in space orbiting the planet. Uh, maybe we might even land in a different biome, who knows, like a desert or something, might, might get some uh, science back from that, so we'll put those guys in there. And what else do we go ahead and put here? Alright, so parachutes, oh, maybe some legs in case we, uh land and uh, and maybe if we're not falling uh, or if we're falling too fast these guys I, I think it's a good insurance to maybe have some legs on here so we'll toss them on like that and I'm pretty sure they are uh, extendable 
so we will extend them when the time is needed. That should save our engine if we are crash landing or some crazy thing happens. We'll see, but we should be all right, hopefully. Um, that looks pretty good. All right. Wow, look at this thing go. All right, it's pretty expensive, but uh, adding all the bills and whistles that we can possibly add onto it just because it's fun. Um, anything else? Now we need a way to get to space. Maybe we'll get, like, um, side decouplers, right? Right? So kind of like on the side of the mystery goo, we'll have like uh, two of these guys, like one over here, like that, and one over there, and then we'll just add some solid, uh, some solid rockets, right? We could do something like that. So some solid boosters, big ones, small ones. I think just the small ones are fine, right? Maybe. Darn, this is the part I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but uh, I would think it's, I would think it's all right. Um, hmm. Okay, so I feel like this is enough to get us into orbit. Uh, two of these small boosters, plus plus this engine right here with all this huge fuel tank, which this should definitely get us up above the planet and into orbit. Um, I feel confident about it. We'll see. I mean, maybe this thing's heavier than I think it is, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Let me go ahead and set the engines here. Uh, I'm going to set this uh, this engine. I, I don't know. Maybe I should have these all three fired together at the same time. So I could do it like this, where they all fire at the same time. And then once these run out of fuel or whatever, then I can go ahead and uh, eject them. Maybe I'll do that, all three at once, get us up into space, and then we really only need like half a tank of this really to just do uh, orbit adjustments, I think. So let's, let's go with that. Let's go with that. And this ship needs a name too. Alright, everything seems alright. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, let's just name it something uh, original like uh, Bud Lander. Alright, whatever. Let's do that. Save it. Um, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, and the Bud Lander's back. We got it. We got it together. Yeah, <laughs> I went ahead and actually saved it. Pretty good. 23 parts, two stages. Let's go ahead and uh, launch this thing. There we go. And uh, all right. So, uh, oh, this is so exciting. Orbit, orbit, Kerbin. Uh, come on now. Let's let's get this thing together. Oh, it's loading up. Oh, okay. So the sun is coming up. We are ready for takeoff. Uh, luckily, we didn't need anything to hold this thing up. It's standing up fairly well on its own. Oh, I kind of want to test these legs out. I guess we'll test them while we're in or orbit. We'll do some uh, some cruise surveys and some uh, some leg testing and all that. But all right, uh, it seems like Jebediah is ready to go. Um, and all right, so throttle to the max for the uh, liquid fuel booster. And let's go. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Look at this go. All right, let's make sure we angle ourselves a little bit just so we can start making some kind of... Uh, oh, you know what? I might just cut... The, uh, the fuel, the, uh, the liquid fuel, uh, so we can save some of that. Oh, those guys are overheating. Looks like we are accelerating into the uh, atmosphere just fine. Just fine, yeah, we're, we're getting on up here. Oh, man, that's so cool. Kind of nerve-wracking, actually. He's having a good time. is like, yeah, let's do this thing. All right, here we go, and get rid of those. Oh, nuts. Honest to say that this is uh, pretty darn tense, pretty darn nerve-wracking. <laughs> let's try this again. Uh, let's see, full power to the uh, to the gas. All right, it's not really that hard, but really, there's just I don't know something about this. It just it just it just scares me. Okay, so space bar, let's go. All right, so taking off again. Uh, let's tilt on over here. Don't really want to lose any more money. There we go, looking good. Get some bit of an angle here, and uh, we're really I guess this part we really just want to leave the atmosphere. Let's make sure we're keeping straight here. Turn the SAS on, so uh, Jibadai is keeping us straight here. And really, we, we want to leave this part of the atmosphere. Oh, you know what? Let me turn off the liquid fuel. Uh, because we got to save some of that. <laughs> Hopefully we have enough here. Uh, once these rockets expend, there we go. Let's add some power here. Throttle it back a little bit. We don't want to go too, too fast. There we go. We don't want to exceed the threshold that our aerodynamics are capable of whatever maintaining. Oh, all right. I think we're in the clear. Let's tilt over a little more now to try to get some kind of orbit action going on around here. Yeah. Uh, so we can kind of do uh, a plan a thing uh, around the thing. Oh, we're starting to run out of fuel, actually. Darn it, we still haven't left the atmosphere. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. We might need some more. Um, oh, we might, we, might, we might need some more. Let's try to plan something. Oh, we can't even plan anything yet. Why not? Why can't we plan it? Are we not in space yet or something like that? Let's kind of straighten it up a little bit. Oh, this is going to be really tough. We're going to have, like, no fuel for this, for this thing here. Actually, we're, we're flying. We're going really fast. Let's cut back on the uh, throttle here. Let's just cut the engine entirely so we have some liquid fuel to do this with. And uh, hopefully, we are uh, not climbing, really. Or we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. 
And we definitely did not have enough to go ahead and, uh, and make it. I mean, we're kind of in space right now, kind of, but not really. So I just want to try to get back to uh, back home as, as, as quickly as we can. Uh, <laughs> let's just go down there and, uh, and try, to retrieve, uh, try to retrieve our stuff as close to base as possible. Let's just, let's just eyeball this thing. There we go, out of fuel. And uh, I'm not going to go ahead and reload this. Let's, let's just go ahead and go back to base and, uh, and I, guess, I guess deal with our losses and try to get more boosters on here, maybe a more efficient design. Not too, too far from home, actually. It looks like there's another little run strip uh, right over there. Pretty cool looking. Uh, let's go ahead and deploy the chutes, at least see how fast uh, we fall when these chutes deploy. Still got a little while here. Let's do a little time speed here. Uh, oh, man, I tell you what, this, this is this is all learning experience. I, I mean, like, I, I practiced being in space, but I didn't practice getting to space. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, what's, what's our uh, rate of falling? Oh, we'll see right now. And our rate, oh, it's a very safe rate of falling here. This is very good, at least at least for planets that have atmospheres, like uh, Kerbin, and just about only Kerbin. So, okay, uh, time to go back to the drawing board. Hopefully we didn't lose too much. So we have recovered the vessel. And how much money did we lose? We spent 13,000. Okay, so we lost about 3,000. That's not so, so bad. It's not, it's not like, totally terrible. Um, all right, so obviously, you just got to add a little more thrust to, uh, to the mass of our ship. And I think we'll be all right. We, we, I did a little survey, too. Got like six science, whatever. <laughs> uh, so, okay, L uh, back to the drawing board. Let's go in here, see what we can add to this thing. Uh, definitely not these engines, because they're not powerful enough for this kind of stuff. Probably not gonna go with the side thing either. Uh, just gonna go ahead and add something on the bottom. Just a nice traditional, nice traditional one of these old bad boys here that we've used before. There we go. So we'll do that and then we'll add some solid rocket fuel tank, uh, or solid rocket booster. This big guy right here. And I guess we will continue doing it like that. Oh, let's actually, let's actually raise this up. There we go. That looks kind of silly. That really does. Maybe we could do this with more style. This is what I'm thinking here. All right, so uh, instead of just put it, hang, putting all these, uh, I guess, boosters, these solid fuel boosters that we just kind of toss away and lose tons of money on, how about we just have a bunch of fuel tanks? Now that we got these big fuel tanks, uh, I just went ahead and just like literally put them on the side of this bad boy here and then I put um, like, like a nose cone on top of them like that for aerodynamics and then maybe just like one or two more parachutes. <laughs> I know I'm going crazy with these parachutes but I feel like they are definitely uh, important so we'll get like we'll get like one over here and like another like over here on this area something like that. Make sure they're kind of uh, even. So did that? Oh, it didn't, didn't duplicate on the other side. Okay, well, we'll do that on this side as well. And hopefully this will do it. And then we can reuse this ship and only spend money on fuel and just uh, like recovery if we're not like far from base uh, when we land. Maybe, maybe this will go ahead and do it. So it looks kind of even, right? Yeah, something like that. That looks pretty cool. And maybe uh, we can move these fins down to here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move these fins like over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be like a whole redesign. And there we have it. Okay, so we have the mystery goo here. We got these nose cones, fuel engines here. Uh, <laughs> this is like, okay, I, I think this is gonna work. Maybe. I'm not really sure what these things are attached with uh, because I don't see like how these are even like on here, but I'm guessing they use some kind of super glue or something to put them on there. And then I'm gonna use these stronger uh, liquid fuel engines for, uh, for these side guys here. Uh, so there we go. This is starting to get a little more expensive, but hopefully this is something that we can recover more often for future stuff. So we got the 45 right there, the 30s over here, and uh, whoa, whoa, let me, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so, oh my gosh, honestly, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Let's save it. Don't load it. Save it. All right, so there we go. 29 parts, one stage, almost 20,000. <laughs> That's so expensive. But, uh, oh yeah, let's get these stages down too. Let me uh, figure this out here. Uh, I guess, yeah, get these two down below here, and I guess the third engine as well. Get them down in there as well. So all these engines going off on that stage, and oh, I guess that's it, really. I guess that's it, and then all the rest parachutes after that. All right, let's get rid of this one then. And our craft is too heavy. Believe it or not, it's actually way too heavy. We tried to launch our launch pad, our little dirt uh, hole out there. It's not equipped to, uh, to launch this massive uh, spaceship. Okay, <laughs> so... Uh, let me go back to basics. So this is proving to be very much the challenge as we have our weight limit. Uh, reaching orbit is is uh, <laughs> looking extremely difficult to do, uh, but we are going to do it. I got our LT uh, V45 engine down below there, and I have uh, I'm pretty much using all fuel tanks, 
And I'm also using the uh, the very small uh, 909 fuel, uh, engine right around there. So once we uh, get to orbit, should be able to let go of this and uh, we'll orbit. Yeah, if, if we can go ahead and do that. So all right, let's let's try it. And uh, here we go. All right, so full power for now. Okay, we're screaming up pretty good, pretty good screaming. Um, and I heard around at around 10,000, you should probably want to start tilting to the east. So all right, good to keep in mind. Um, Oh man, alright, so here we go, we're going. <laughs> I mean, like, this is this is so hard. And also, we don't have, uh, we, we don't have the instrumentation. We need to upgrade some buildings to be able to plot coordinates out here as well. So we have to eyeball the entire thing. This is, this is like, the biggest challenge ever. How much fuel we have? We have some fuel going there. Uh, starting to tilt east already. I don't really want to tilt east yet. I heard 10,000 is like the, uh, the magic mark. But, uh, but looks like we're going good though. Gaining speed. Going high. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Alright, so 7,000. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotta watch this. Watch this here. 7,000, 8,000. Uh, starting to lose a little bit of control here. 9,000. Let's start tilting over 45 degrees to the east. And then uh, go ahead and jettison uh, whatever we're going to have here. There we go. Now let's bring it down to about like two-thirds power. Oh my goodness. Losing all control. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Just gotta keep it steady. Keep it steady. Oh, that's right. I need SAS turned on. There we go. There we go. Let's get our bearing back on east. Hopefully that's not going to kill it for us. All right. So we got our tiny, tiny little engine here and tiny little fuel tank in a tiny capsule <laughs> with, with no other uh, no other things. I guess we could do a crew report. Yeah, but nothing new, of course. We've been here before, uh, but looks like we are cruising quite nicely. Quite nicely. Let's take a look at the... Hey, yeah, that's not so bad. Not so bad. So I heard... Once you get to 70,000, that's when you want to start doing something. Till then, I guess we're gaining speed and just cruising on this way. And our fuel looks like it's doing really good. We are holding a 45 degree angle, almost at 30,000. This is a miracle. It's totally amazing. I tried so many other things, like uh, like solid rocket boosters and all that. Forget that stuff. It's all about liquid engines, liquid, uh, liquid fuel tanks. Because this is like the best I've done so far trying to attempt this. Oh, here we go. Moving east. Got to get this thing up to uh, 70,000. I think we have the fuel to do it. Just uh, keeping it at two-thirds energy here. Oh, man. Trying my best to hold it steady at 45 degrees. Looks like we are screaming up high and gaining lots of surface uh, velocity here. Uh, yeah, like, like it's, just, it's just going up real fast. Still got almost half a tank of uh, fuel left. Can we do it? Let's take a look at the map. Oh, my goodness. That's coming along. Still a long way to go, though. Oh, I don't know if we're going to do this. This might have, need another try or something. I tell you what, these restrictions make this so hard. And, and we don't have any coordinate planning buildings or anything, so probably we'll have to do orbit and uh, a whole bunch of maneuvers, uh, or uh, maneuvers manually, until we can upgrade our, uh, I think it's our satellite building or whatever, so we can plan out orbit, uh, orbital stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't think we're going to do it now. Really low on fuel. Maybe I could lower the uh, thrust a little bit. Maybe a little bit. And I slowed down our thrust a little more. Looks like we're almost going to hit the 70,000 mark. Oh my gosh, there it is. Uh, we need to get... Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Oh, all right, so once we achieve orbit, we're almost there. We're almost out of fuel, too. Still picking up speed. Screaming. Gaining altitude. This is so intense. Oh my gosh, Bud Kai in space. Almost out of fuel. Oh, this is, this is too close. This is too close, man. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh my gosh, we're almost stretching this thing out here. Should we, uh, let's, let's tilt it over. Like, uh, like more or less like this. Let's see if we get some speed here. Oh my gosh, before we, uh, before we run out of fuel, let's try to, uh, really maximize the range here now. Now that we got this. Actually, we're a little too high. We're a little, we're like way too high. Darn it. <laughs> um, and we're about ready to run out of fuel. I think I should have tilted it over sooner. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to probably do this again. Maybe not. Almost out of fuel. One last little push. One last little push out of fuel. All right, now what? Oh my gosh, we're so close. I went too high. I went a little bit too high. Darn. All right, so here's the second take. I heard that once we get our um, Apoesis um, up to 70,000, that's when we can go ahead and cut the engine. So we're gonna keep an eye on this. And then this is where we can coast up to. Once we get there, then we can angle our ship for uh, for a thrust. What's our fuel like? Oh, we're almost out of fuel again, uh, but ready to go ahead, cut the engines in just a little bit here. Almost there, almost there. 
And cut the engines. There we go. All right, so we are going to coast up to this point. How much fuel? Oh my gosh, we're almost out of fuel. We're going to coast up to this point, and then we're going to go ahead and, uh, and shoot across the horizon. Uh, and that should, uh, with that little bit of fuel left, that should actually engage us into orbit. Who would have thought it's so hard to leave the planet Earth? Uh, I would have never guessed. <laughs> um, all right, so here we go. Uh, waiting to get to this point and then shooting across to uh, make orbit. All right, and we are almost there. <laughs> going right to it. I have my ship angled at the horizon just about. Once we get there, I guess I'm going to give it full throttle or uh, or something like that. Uh, maybe maybe like uh, two-thirds throttle again. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, just about there. Zooming on in. Ship there. Bud Lander Mini. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, this is like so hard. I can't wait to get like a bigger base where we can do like, uh, like do this easier. But right now, I think we're doing good with what we have. All right, let's go ahead and give it two thirds power. And boom, all right, so now we are extending. Yep, definitely extending the, uh, the orbit around here. There we go, let's, let's angle it at uh, a little lower now, gain some speed. I think it's, I think the name of the game now is speed. So let's try to get this speed up going here. Are we gonna do it? And, and if we do do it, how are we going to get back to Earth if we actually achieve orbit? Oh, looks like we're doing it! And we just ran out of fuel. <laughs> oh. And I think we've got it now. I actually added a small, tiny little booster. Uh, so this, I made this a three-stage rocket, a tiny, small booster at the back. Staged that off, had this uh, same engine as before, and in this stage, I think we're going to go ahead and achieve it now. Uh, no problem. Here we go. Yep. Yep, looking looking pretty good, looking pretty good. All right, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys the, the the complete ship after we do this. And same as before, here we go, waiting for the 70,000 mark, being at 45 degrees, just kind of getting up there. <laughs> this is so hard. Uh, almost at 70,000. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead to like 75,000, something like that. And uh, so we know that we got this this uh, orbital thing. Uh, here we go. It's going. It's going. It's going. Uh, ready to cut the engines, uh, right about, uh, let's see, right about, uh, let's go a little higher just in case. Alright, so let's cut the engines now. Boom, how much fuel do we have left? Oh, we finally have a lot of fuel, that's good. Last time we had like tiny little bits, that little booster rocket in the beginning really helped. Face the horizon, and we're gonna enter orbit. If we had maneuvers, this would be so much easier. Like, we would just put a point a point right there and be like, okay, like, mark it like this, and it would tell us the countdown timer from when we, have, we would have to uh, add thrust and, uh, and for how much thrust and speed change we would need. But we don't have any of that stuff right now. We will eventually. But okay, so let's go ahead, and we're at the point just about now. So let's, uh, let's give us, like, uh, some power here. Maybe, like, half or something like that. Uh, make sure we're pointing at the horizon. And... Alright, so let's go ahead and now this should be increasing. Let's give it some time. It's speed up time a little bit. Actually, oh! Oh, I see. We're under acceleration, so we can't speed up time. But, uh, it does seem like it is growing. Let's add maybe a little more thrust and angle us a little bit lower. What does the planet look like? <laughs> the planet looks pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Look at this go. Wow, we're, we're in space right now. We're actually in space. Amazing. Look at those islands over there. Oh, I want to check them out. Actually, I want to check out other planets. <laughs> That'd be even cooler. Get like a rover and stuff and just kind of explore. Uh, are we losing altitude? Um, no, we're still gaining a little bit. So hopefully, hopefully this thing's going to wrap around here. Can't speed up time, but uh, we're, we're, I guess, I mean, look at this. We're screaming. Our orbit speed is like 2,000. Look at that. Let's zoom on out. It's starting to take shape. Yes, our our, uh, our highest point is is oh actually we could we could angle more towards the horizon. Here we go. Let's do that. Angle more towards the horizon, and I think it's happening. I think it's happening. Yes, there we go. There's our periapsis. We've done it. Let's make sure we got this up to uh get this up to like seventy thousand here. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not up to seventy thousand. How do we do this? Uh oh. I guess I guess point up a little bit. <laughs> maybe maybe uh maybe a, a lot a lot a bit. Darn it. Almost there. And I think we've done it this time. I just went ahead and gave it more throttle. Yes, we've done it. We've actually achieved orbit. Cut the engines. We've done it. We've actually done it. Where's our mission? Yes, our mission's completed. Yes. Oh, that's great. And now we can go ahead and test our other engine once we get, um, I guess, more, uh, more, more weight allowance for our launch pad, which is going to be a long time from now. But it's okay. We can, we can go ahead and hang on to that one. Maybe we'll, we'll be able to do it. Who knows? But we have achieved orbit around Kerbin. 
Uh, can't believe it. <laughs> Actually, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad to believe it because um, we would have been really in a, in a tough soup situation if we weren't able to get, achieve this mission. That would have been a big blow to uh, Crazy Face Industries. Luckily, we were able to uh, answer the call. So, all right, I'll see you guys next time.